Hi, everybody. Jean McDonald here with Transition Tip Tuesday. Although this is going to be put on Facebook on Thursday instead. It's been one of those weeks where the weather has been grayed out, but there's a lot of work to be done here in this office. And I wanted to share a technique that I've used. It may not be the most efficient, but for me, it's the most effective. And that is when the weather is good outside and I'm torn between the task here and the tasks that I want to do out there, what I do is I alternate. I'll do an hour's worth of work, maybe a little longer than an hour inside. And the minute I start to feel bored or unfocused, then I go outside, do some gardening, do those home maintenance things that are so essential to to maintaining a house, but having to do with being outside, being moving around, being physical. And when that starts to kind of wear, maybe I get a little too sweaty, I start to wear down, then I come back inside and work on my desk, work at my desk for another hour or so. And the cycle will continue where it's back and forth, in and out all day. And it's amazing for me how much work I can get done. Now, I might not finish all the projects, but at least I've made some progress on all of them. Now, last week I did the opposite, and I mentioned this in my Monday motivational email, that I sat down, I wasn't feeling well, I was kind of just wanting to stay in bed, um, take care of, I had a chronic cough, not COVID, but um, just just couldn't couldn't really do much and I stayed in bed and in a day and a half I got 60 of my YouTube videos kind of revamped I, I I got intros to them I got descriptions put in meta tags got them uh, reposted on the care without despair website and that was a lot of work that was continuous work for a day and a half and it felt so good to tackle that project and get it done. So that's often the method that many people use. And I love it. You 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 focus and you get it done. But I tend not to be that focused of a person usually. So this method of working inside and then outside, inside and outside really works for me. And like I said, it might not be everyone's cup of tea, but it's an alternative if you find that you just can't stay focused inside. Even if you go outside and just move around a little bit, take a short walk, come back in and you can get refocused. So anyway, that's my tip for today. We'll see you next week. Have a lovely week ahead. And remember, live each day with love in your heart. Take care, Jean McDonald here with Care Without Despair. Bye for now.